This is the new Trunks Figuarts, released in 2023. They call him BFTF for the boy from the future, but I call him BWWL for boy with wobbly legs. Keep watching if you want to know why. He's got two heads, Super Saiyan and Base Form, plus two alternate Super Saiyan beings. Four faces for Super Saiyan head and one for Base Form head. Six pairs of hands. Sculpt is similar to Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta. Last, the sword and scabbard. Super likeness. Face decal is precise. Likeness is excellent. Skin tone is cream. No shadings. Matte finished. The hair is light purple. No shadings. No finishing either. Good sculpt. Seam lines are visible. Face decal is also flawless with excellent likeness. Skin tone is cream. No shadings. Matte finished. Expressions are standard with an additional face looking to the right. Faces fit tightly, not easily fall off. Both bangs also fit snugly. Just need to press it firmly. They'd sometimes spring back off a bit from the head. Seam lines are visible sometimes. These are beautiful new sculpts overall. But man, his jacket collar looks terrible. The hair is light yellow with some shadings on the front part. No visible nut marks, acceptably tidy. Color scheme is good, acceptable accuracy. The thigh is thick typically for body 3.0. Detail is good. The boot is tidily painted but not lined. No shadings either. No color mismatch on the knee joints. No finishing either. Minor seam lines are visible. Color separation is excellent. He's mostly primo colored. The minimum paint job is done tidily like on the belt buckle or the buttons and the chest. Decal is also precisely pasted. Too bad there are no linings and shadings on the jacket. Perhaps Bandai is saving that treatment for his even exclusive virgin? Jacket design looks horribly ugly from the back. They divide the jacket, putting posability above aesthetic. The scabbard strap is soft plastic precise fitting. Fortunately, the ugly backside can be covered with the scabbard. Overall, his appearance is fantastic. From the front, that is. But from the back, you better put on the scabbard. The scabbard is now hollow. The sword can be completely inserted into the scabbard. No need a half sword. Scabbard is painted flawlessly. The strap is elastic will not break easily. The peg sizes are different. You can't go wrong attaching the strap. You can detach the pommel to insert the hand. There are two types of grip hands for holding the sword. The first is for holding the sword vertically. The other is slightly angled to point the sword forward. Both grip hands has off-center peg hole. Joints are typical fig warts, inconsistent all over the body. Thankfully, articulation range is impressive. He's certainly one of the best posable figures to date. The joints are mostly tight. Only the bicep swivel and thigh swivel have problems. I read some people reported that the biceps are easy to pop off. And yes, I agree with them. That's because the joint doesn't have a catch to hold them in place, unlike, say, Vegeta's biceps.
The waist ball joint is squeaky tight. I put some oil on it for safety. The legs have impressive range, and ab scrunch is remarkable. Sadly, they wobble a great deal. This is why I call him the boy with wobbly legs. The weak part is not the thigh ball joints, but the thigh swivel pegs. Well, the new Trunks has undergone massive overhaul. He's got an all new body 3.0, plus some new points of articulations. The height seems equal compared to armored Trunks, but the body is now a lot chunkier, just like other Super Saiyan 4 Figwarts. I think this is the characteristic of body 3.0, closer to the original art style of Toriyama Sensei. I'm sad that both his friends are now dwarfed in comparison. However, I have a hunch that they too will be overhauled soon. Some more comparisons just to show how surprisingly big the new trunks is. What do you think of the new scale? The heads are bigger than body 1.0 or 2.0. Faces are different size as well. Side by side, I think old trunks heads aren't that bad. The head back size looks the same, but armored trunks is actually slightly bigger. You can put armored trunks head on new trunks, but you might need to force fit the neck. Hey, he doesn't look half as bad, but I can't fit the face firmly due to new trunks thick neck. Future trunks head doesn't even stand a chance. Neck difference is just too big. If I force it, that's gonna be hilarious. Same case with Xeno versus head. Doesn't fit the neck. This is also a fail. Can't fit the faces firmly either. Looks like only armor trunk can make it nicely. If you try the other way around, it's gonna be hilarious part two. Hands are similar in size, but new trunk specs are bigger. Hands are not swappable. The sword is about the same size. The scabbard is bigger now. No more pack on the scabbard. Both versions are nicely crafted. Flawless paint job. Hilt and guard design is different. But the length is identical. You can put the old sword inside the new scabbard if you want, but it won't latch securely. New Trunks 3.0 is a superbly designed Figuarts afflicted with horrible joints. However, he looks great and highly fun to pose. Despite his poor joints, I greatly enjoy playing with him. He is highly recommended for every Dragon Ball fans. At around 60 bucks, some will say he's borderline expensive, but I think that's a fair price for a decent figure these days. Most importantly, he's a regular release, which is relatively easy to get, and there is a good chance of price going down a bit due to oversupply. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!